Get ready to fire up the next pair, which includes the now quickest car in the history of the injected nitro funny car ranks here amongst the alcohol class. Mick Steele, the real deal, the black and orange machine getting ready to fire up as the call goes out. Take on Frank Tiggis. Frank got a Holbrook mass. Over on the Betway side of the track. And Mick Steele, the summit side of the racetrack. The only car on top alcohol funny car this weekend without a supercharger. That is an injected nitromethane machine. Rick Hickman doing the tuning. And last weekend in Reading, that car really came to life. They've been struggling with that race car. As have many of the folks who have gone through the injected nitro ranks. To get it to run down track. Made some good progress with the early numbers. It's still not really thundering in the speed department. Frank's car has yet to come to life. They've turned that thing over a couple times. I just saw the motor turn over again and not start. Put the coil wires back in. They're going to try it again. They turn it over. They pull the wires. Nothing. I don't think Frank's going to make the call. I just see his hands went up inside the race car, and Frank Tickett's not going to make qualifying session number one. His alcohol funny car would not come to life. So it'll be a solo run for Mick Steele here in the injected nitro machine. Steele Cathodic, Fram Autolite. Steel Cat. Mick. Kodak Tennessee is his home. Longtime competitor in Top Alcohol Funny Car. He went the dragster ranks the last couple of years with an injected car, various degrees of success. Let's jump behind the wheel of this machine. The first opportunity, NHRA legalized the injected nitro cars a year ago. So here he is, Mick Steele. That thing's pretty lazy down low. Goes 6'10 at 226. Car. NHRA.TV cameras didn't really keep up with the run there. I started to see if he had cylinders out, but just the way it sounded made it seem like it wasn't running on all eight from the get go. Not that those cars have a real high RPM for those of you alcohol fans who follow the dragster class, but 105 to 60 feet, pretty indicative that almost at the step, she was pretty sour. 226 miles per hour. Probably an even bigger indication that that car was not happy at the finish line or anywhere near it for that matter. 6'10 with a 5 for Mick Steele. That'll put Mick number 2 for now behind Melinda King ahead of Bill Naves. Frank Tigga's team's going to have to go back and figure out what happened. Why that race car wouldn't turn over. Why well, it would turn. Why it wouldn't light. And Phil Ez. The ultrasonic team. We'll get ready to roll in next. 